Get into a comfortable meditation posture. Start to calm your mind by focusing on your breath. Do this in whatever way works best for you. Perhaps without trying to control the breath, you can notice the feeling of the air passing by your nostrils, the coolness of the air when you inhale, and the warmth of the air when you exhale. Perhaps you notice the rise and fall of your body as you inhale or exhale, noticing the rhythm of your breath today. Perhaps notice where your breath stops in your body today. Does it stop at your throat or in your chest? Or is it getting down into your belly? Then take a few moments to control the breath, trying to move the breath as deep as you can into your belly. Inhale as fully as you can until you are full of air, inflating your belly like a balloon with each inhale, and then releasing all of that air along with some of your fear or worry with each exhale. Release every drop of air that you can, slowly and steadily. Take a few big, deep breaths this way. Now let your breath return to its natural rhythm and shift your attention to your body. Notice any feeling within your body today. Where is your center of feel? Where are you carrying the weight of the day today? Where do you notice the most sensation? Then see if you can be aware of your whole body. Can you feel the edges of your body where your body meets the air in the room? Letting go of your focus on the body, today we are going to try and be with something unpleasant that you are experiencing. If this is a new practice for you, I encourage you to pick up the 10-pound problem, not the 100-pound problem. Otherwise, to start, take a moment to let yourself recall the unpleasant experience. What happened or is happening? What did it involve? Who did it involve? Where or when did it happen? Simply recall what you can about the experience.
If this becomes difficult for you at any point, be gentle with yourself. Give yourself permission to get as close as you can to the experience, even if you can't go all the way into it. Now, shift your attention to scan your internal environment. First, notice what thoughts come up about the experience. These might be actual words that you think to yourself, or they may come in the form of mental images. As best as you can, try to just observe the thought or mental image without getting wrapped up in it. Try to just be curious about it, about each of them as they float in and out of your attention. Simply checking in and observing with what's there. If you notice that you've gotten lost in thought, just acknowledge it and on your next inhale, come back to noticing your thoughts or mental images about the situation, observing them with curiosity, watching them go by. You may also notice judgments, likes or dislikes, or wanting things to be one way or another about the situation. Also take note of this, these attractions or aversions, trying your best not to get wrapped up in them or to give them meaning, just observing them, allowing yourself to be curious about them watching them go by. Next, notice any urges that come up. Do you find yourself wanting to end the meditation? Or wanting to think about something else? Or wanting to get up and move? Maybe even get away? An urge to escape? Also take note of these feelings. Again, trying your best not to get wrapped up in the urges or feeling like you need to act on them. Try your best to just observe them, to be curious about them, to watch them arise and fall away.
Next, move your attention into your body and notice the sensations or emotions that come up. Again, I'll invite you to notice where you recognize the most sensation. Whether it's emotional or even physical. Perhaps put a hand where you feel the most sensation. What do you notice about the actual physical experience of this sensation? What are the qualities of this sensation? Could you describe it as having a certain shape? Or a certain size? Does it have a texture associated with it? Smooth, prickly, sharp? Do you say it's warm or cold? Is it consistent or does it pulse or shift or move? Does it have a color associated with it? Take a few moments to examine the actual experience of the physical sensation. To be curious about it. To observe it the way a scientist might. Noting and witnessing whatever comes up. But as an observer, with a sense of curiosity about the experience. Now take a few more moments to expand your awareness. Coming back to trying to sense the whole body. Perhaps trying to experience the sense of spaciousness that exists within your body. One more time, scan your entire internal self and just notice whatever comes up as it comes up. Whatever your mind is attracted to, whether it's thoughts, images, feelings, urges, or anything else, again, like a scientist, try to observe them with curiosity, watching them go by, and just noting that they're there. Trying to just be with whatever you're experiencing.
If it becomes uncomfortable, you can notice this and observe that as part of your experience. And if it's too much, allow yourself to pull back, seeing if you can sit just at the periphery of the experience, seeing how close you can get to being with it without fully going into it. And take a moment just to acknowledge to yourself what it has been like to be with this unpleasant experience. What was it like to sit with it this way? How has it influenced your relationship to the experience? And with that, we begin to conclude our meditation by asking yourself the question, what do I now know? What did I learn from this experience? You can continue to consider the answer to this question as you hear the chime of the meditation bells. At the end of the third bell, you can open your eyes and come back to the room.